This is part 17 of Angular CRUD tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss binding Angular form to our own model class. Along the way, we'll also discuss how to fix one of the common errors that we get when exporting ng model directive to a local template reference variable. The error that we get is this, cannot assign to a reference a variable. We'll discuss what causes this error and how to fix it. Here is the project that we've been working with so far in this video series. At the moment, our create employee component is using the Angular auto-generated form model. Now, if we take a look at the models folder, notice we have this file employee.model.ts and here we have employee class. Now, what we want to do is use the employee class as the model for our create employee component. So, the first step is to import this employee class within our create employee component. So, let's go to create employee component TypeScript class and then let's import the employee class from employee.model.ts file within the models folder. Next, within our create employee component class, let's create a property. I'm going to place that property just before the department's property. Let's name the property employee and the type for this property is going to be the employee type which we have just imported. Now let's initialize all the properties of this employee class to null. Let's start with id. Next, let's set the name to null. Similarly, let's set the rest of the properties of the employee class also to null. Now, we want to use this employee object as the model for our create employee component. So, here is what we want to do. We want to use the ng model directive and bind the input fields that we have in our create form with the respective properties in this employee class. Now, if we take a look at create employee component view template, notice here we have full name input field. We have set the name attribute of this input field to full name and we have also set ng model to full name and we know what is this going to do angular generated form model is going to create a property with the name full name and then here we are exporting ng model directive into a local template reference variable and we deliberately name this local template reference variable full name control and not just full name now if we name it full name we know what's going to happen let's actually take a look at the browser Notice we don't have anything displayed on the page and if we take a look at the console, we have this error, cannot assign to a reference a variable and we know what's causing this. Now, Angular generated form model has already created a property with the name full name and here we are trying to export this ng model directive into a template reference variable with the same name full name and that's the reason we are getting this error, cannot assign to a reference a variable and we know one way to fix this is by giving this template reference variable a different name other than full name. So we can either name it full name control, full name variable, etc. Now if we save our changes and then take another look at the browser, notice the form is reloading but it should reload fine without any errors. Look at the console, we don't have any errors. At the moment, as far as this full name input field is concerned, we have a bit of inconsistency. Here, we named the field full name, but if we take a look at our employee class, we named that property just name. So to be consistent, let's change this full name to name. Let's change it at all the places where we have full name. Notice we have the same error again, cannot assign to a reference a variable. This is because we have set the name attribute and ng model to name and we are also creating a template reference variable with the same name. One way to fix this is by changing the name of the template reference variable to something other than name. The other way to fix this is by using our own model class. So we want to use this employee property as the model for our create employee component. So I'm going to bind the ng model directive to the name property of the employee object. Notice the error is gone and the form is displayed as expected. 
Now, if we take a look at the Angular auto-generated form model, notice name is part of it right now, and it is initialized with null value. That's because if we take a look at the name property within our employee object, we have set it to null. At the moment, we are only displaying the Angular generated form model. Let's also display our own employee model. To do this, let's go to the view template of our create employee component, scroll all the way down. Notice here we are displaying the Angular generated form model. In addition to that, we also want to display our own employee model. So let's first display this text, our employee model. And we want to display what we have in the employee property. Now this is the property that that is referring to. And we know this property is pointing to an employee object, which is a model, and that's what we want to display within our view template. And to format that, let's use the JSON pipe. Notice along with the Angular generated form model, we also have our own employee model. So let's bind all these input fields to their respective properties in the employee class. Let's start with this photo path property. So we want to bind the source property of the image element to the photo path property of the employee object. Let's do the same thing with the rest of the properties. Notice now we have all our employee properties in both the models, Angular generated form model and our own employee model. At the moment, all these properties are null. That's because in the employee object which we have set as the model, we have initialized them to null. And as we start to interact with the form fields and as we populate them, the respective properties in both the models will be updated. Notice this date of birth field. It is null in both our own employee model and it's also null within the Angular generated form model. And look at what happens when I select a date. When I select a date, notice both the models are populated as expected. And the same thing will happen as you select these other values for the other input fields. Notice now the department ID is populated in both the models. Department ID here is four, and within our own model, it's also four. Now, we have some cleanup to do here. Within our create employee component, we created this date of birth field to set a default date. We are not using this field anymore. So let's delete that. And if we scroll down a bit, and if we take a look at this date picker config object, week numbers are anyway shown by default. So we don't need this property. We also don't want to set a min and max date. So let's remove all those properties. At the moment, when we fill out this employee form and when we click the Save button, we're actually logging the Angular generated form model values to the console. Instead, we want to now log our own employee model. So if we take a look at this ng submit directive, notice we are binding save employee method to that and to that method, we are passing the employee form and this employee form is our ng form. Instead of that, we want to pass our own employee model. And we have this property, employee, which is pointing to an employee object, which is our model. So we want to log this to the console when we click the Save button. So what we want to do is pass the object that this employee property is pointing to. We also have to change our Save Employee method within our component class. So now it's no longer employee form that is being passed to this method. We're actually passing an employee object. Let's actually name this new employee. And the type of this is employee. And what we want to do is log the employee object to the console. Let's fill this form first.
Let's launch browser developer tools and then click the save button to log our employee model to the console. Notice we have all the property values captured as expected. At the moment, the ID property is null. We'll discuss how to fix that in our upcoming videos. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening and have a great day.